basket I'm putting together for my parents. This is one way I love to prep for guests. It's either go get a cart or a basket or call it quits. This is always the first place that I check. All right, let's finish up this basket. Hello, hello. I'm so excited because today I am preparing for my parents to come into town. I cannot wait. They have not seen my place in Tampa. They haven't visited here since late last year when I didn't even live here. I was just sort of visiting here too. So now they're finally coming to Tampa to stay with me. They are hopping on the train today. There is an Amtrak that goes from West Palm Beach to Tampa. I told them this is the best option. A, at my apartment complex, I do not have guest parking. I don't know what it is. I can like rent a spot and pay for it or there's a parking garage. I could rent a spot and pay for it, but I'm like, okay, first of all, what a pain. And second of all, they don't need a car because I've got my car. So it's like if my parents were flying in, but they only live four hours away and it's a four hour train ride or a three and a half hour drive without stops. So basically a four hour drive, you know, you have to fill up for gas or pee or whatever. If you're like me, I pee a couple times on that drive. So they are coming via the train and I am prepping for their arrival. I washed the sheets. I've done all of that kind of stuff. I'm actually crafting a little basket for them. I've got to go pick up some more supplies to put in here. I'm gonna be giving my mom a travel related gift. So many things to come, but I am just gonna take you guys along on my day of how I prep for guests. I've been doing this for all of the guests who've been coming. So when Austin's parents came and then his mom came back, all of these things, I like to create like little baskets, little welcome gifts, and just make them feel at home. So my parents are coming in today, which is actually not gonna be in this vlog, so sorry. If you wanna see World Tide Dad, he will be around. But for this vlog, it's kind of how I prep and prepare for visitors and we have some errands to run let me tell you we got to go to home goods mainly for a return but also like i just want to look for cute glassware to maybe add to the basket we're gonna go to target to pick up some more things to the basket again i'll walk you through kind of everything that i'm doing for them i have some ups returns and stuff to make i actually have an entire cart that i took from the parking garage well you can borrow it and i've got a whole cart of stuff i gotta bring to my car for things to do so let's go run some errands let's prep for my parents to come i am just so excited i haven't seen them since Christmas, which may not seem a while, but I lived with my parents for a year and a half after college. Granted, I was traveling a lot, but it's different. I now have like my own life here in Tampa. I'm just can't wait for them to come. So I'm gonna show you super quick some of the stuff I'm doing for my parents, what we need from the stores, and then we are gonna go. So as I've been saying, my parents are coming for the weekend and my mom called me last week and she goes, it's gonna look like I'm overpacking because I have nothing to pack weekend stuff in. And so my brain started turning and one of my favorite gifts to give travel-wise right now you guessed it, the Bay's Weekender bag. She actually saw mine and loved the color, so I went and I got my mother the same exact Weekender bag as me. They've got plenty of color options, but this Weekender bag is perfect. So for all of her trips to come visit me, my brother's going off to college in the fall, like to go visit him. When you just need a Weekender bag, this is my go-to, and I'm so excited to give it to my mom. They've got over 30,000 five-star reviews. So if you don't trust me, you can trust the reviewers online as well. What I love is it's got metal built into this top piece so that when you pop open your bag it stays open it's not just like a zipper that unzips it pops open plus you've got a laptop sleeve in here so my mom can bring her laptop ipad kindle when she comes and visits plus my favorite part and as a girl it's most likely all of our favorite parts there is a separate compartment in the bottom here for shoes so enough of my rambling we gotta find some more travel related items to put in here to give to my mom in addition to the gift basket but if you're looking for another little bag or just a great travel related gift item you guys can actually get 50 15% off your first purchase by going to baystravel.com slash Gracie. That's B-E-I-S travel.com slash Gracie. That gets you 15% off. Yes, I used my own code to get my mother this bag. So now we're gonna get going to the store so we can find things to put in this bag to give her in addition to the gift basket. So let's get out of the door. Order of business, getting all the boxes and these little canvases in my trunk. We've got canvases in the trunk, we've got boxes in the back, and now I'm going to first head over to the UPS store to drop the boxes, then Target and Home Goods. Home Goods, why did I say it like that? I don't know, but I am ready to go. Look at this, look at this. I feel so fabulous when my hair is like this and I have these glasses on. Okay, I will see you there. All right, we're at the UPS store. Let's get some stuff returned. 
Seat. Perfect. All Thank right. you. Good night. Well, that was nice, quick, and easy. And I just love the employees at this UPS store. So I got my little receipt. Everything is good to go. And now we are headed just down the street where there's Home Goods and Target in the same shopping center. Tell me how dangerous that is. Actually, you don't even need to tell me. I already know. Could you imagine that every time you have to go to Target? Because I feel like I need to go to Target more than I need to go to Home Goods. Just for like realistic stuff. Let's just say shampoo, conditioner, body wash. Imagine you're then tempted by home goods and if you're a girl like me you can't resist home goods you can't it's just impossible but anyway I actually have home goods returns so that's where we're gonna go first because I want to return some stuff at home goods and then we got to get some stuff for my parents at Target like I said doing that little gift basket want to get my mom like shampoo conditioner that kind of stuff so that they feel absolutely at home here for the weekend so first up home goods and we're gonna see what kind of goodies we can find there and then we got to go to Target for like more realistic things but also still fun things down the street we go Alrighty, we have arrived. It is time to get the little canvases out of the back of the car. Ooh. Time to bring these bad boys in. We're supposed to end up in Austin's apartment. And actually, they just really didn't end up working out. So I have to go return the both of these. So my hands are going to be full. But this is the first thing is to return. And then we'll walk around the store together because I can't resist. We have made it to the motherland. Going to go do a return and maybe find a couple things. Oh my goodness. Right when you walk in, look at this adorable little day bed they have in here. Stuff like this. I'm like, where does this come from? Who's getting this? Because I wish I had a backyard to put this in. I have been so into fun glassware lately, so this is always the first place that I check. How fun are these stemless wine glasses? I think that these would make a great gift. They're heavier. I love the way that they look. They're so fun. And y'all, $4.99. I think I'm gonna have to put this in my mom's basket because I think she would love this. Oh my goodness, look at these. Hiding back here, oh. These floral ones, and they're kind of 3D. They've got stuff popping out. Oh my gosh, so many fun finds. I love it. How cute are these little makeup bags? I just found this one says glam, but look at this one. It says mama. It's $13. I think I have to get it. My number one thing when coming into a home goods is to not grab a cart first off, and now I've got too many things to hold. It's either go get a cart or a basket or call it quits. I think I'm gonna call it quits. I don't know, I'm in the artwork section looking to see if I could find anything for Austin's apartment, but I just don't see anything that I think that he would like, so I think we're calling it quits. I'm just carrying all of this up to the register. That's adorable. I don't know where that would go, but it's adorable. Well, 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 I will say that was a pretty successful trip, and I only got stuff for my mom, so I feel good about that decision. Bye. Nothing quite for my dad, but he doesn't really need much. feel good about the couple things that I got, and now, right upstairs if you go up two floors, or you can drive your car, but I think I'm just gonna take the elevator or walk the stairs. It's Target. It's like home goods. Target is just above dangerous. So we all know Target is a very dangerous place. So I have a list of things in my notes app on my phone that I wanna buy and I'm gonna try really hard to stick to it. Oh my gosh, do you hear that car alarm? Holy smoke. But we're gonna stick to the list. I actually got the loofahs at home goods. They had some cute ones, so I don't need those. But like shampoo, conditioner. Actually, I do want some sparkling water. That will be for myself. But stuff like shampoo, conditioner, and things like that. For my parents, up two flights. We've made it. Grabbing a basket for minimal damage. So many fun St. Patrick's Day things already. Look at these cute little flags. This is Lucky Duck. And all kinds of Easter stuff coming out. Do you think my dad would want a pair of bunny ears? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get my mom some of this volume shampoo and we're gonna go for the moisture conditioner. My dad is a huge hockey fan, but he loves the Florida Panthers, but I think we're gonna go to the Florida Panthers Tampa Bay Lightning game this weekend. I'm contemplating between cup and hat. These hats don't have the back that he likes, so I think we're gonna get him a new turvis because you can't be over in Tampa and not support the Lightning, so we're gonna get this for my dad. Oh my gosh, they actually do have Florida Panther stuff here. That's hilarious, but he's got to convert to lightning, at least for the weekend. I ended up getting some wine, so that is a hefty total for just two bags. 
Friday. We did the home goods. We did the Target. Got some goodies at Target. I ended up stopping in the wine aisle because I was like, oh, my mom and I are going to want some wine. She's going to want the red wine that I got her. And I don't have anything, so I got just some stuff to kind of stock up the bar cart and to have one for myself for this weekend in case we want to. Got some sparkling water. Got the shampoo, conditioner, dry shampoo. Um, oh, got my dad that hat and the Tervis. And now ready to go home. They're on the train. Their arrival, because the train was a little delayed, is 525. It's 251. I wanted to be on my way or kind of home by three. So I'm cutting it a little late. I'll probably be home and in my apartment before 315. So I am going to get on the way back home, get some stuff set up, and then I just honestly have some more work stuff to do today. But y'all are coming along to see how I'm putting together this whole basket and getting it all set up and ready for them. Okay, back home. Something fell while I was driving, but I'm gonna bring in all of the bags. I also just wanna point out how good I'm getting at backing in the spots. I mean, granted, my little car neighbor's not here, but I'm very proud of myself because I never back into spots, and I have to every time I take this car. Alrighty, so I am home from Home Goods and Target, and I'm gonna show you this little basket I'm putting together for my parents for coming in. This is one way I love to prep for guests. In addition to, of course, I've been doing laundry all day, changing sheets, duvet covers, blankets, all of that has been cleaned, ready to go. Austin's home, cleaning up his place for my parents. I've still gotta do some cleaning up down here, just in general, because obviously my parents are also gonna come down here and hang. But this little basket I got from Ross, attached to it right here is actually their key fob to get up to the floor. If they want to come and go without us, they have a little fob here that we just have on a hair tie. The basket's adorable. I'm actually going to use this for storage, but for now, it's my guest gift basket. So I've already got some stuff in here that I'll walk you through. This stuff is from Publix or like wherever you go for a local grocery store. Got these extra dark split pretzels. My dad really likes to snack on these. And for his choice of sweet, I got him these Haribo gummy bears because he loves these. And then for a drink for my dad, I didn't even realize they made cans so small. He likes Coke Zero. So I got him these little cans because I figured he didn't need a huge 12 pack of big cans. So I figured these six little ones would do the trick. And then so far in here for my mom, picked up Boom Chicka Pop. She doesn't really snack so much, but like I like this stuff. So if she doesn't want to snack on it, thanks mom. I'll have some. For her sweet snack, I picked up these Heavenly Hunks. We have had these before from a Home Goods. They are Home Goods snack. And we were obsessed. So when I saw them at Home Goods again, and I haven't seen these in forever, I got a pack for her. And then for her drink, I got her this petite, petite uh, red wine. I know that she likes this. I saw it at Costco. I go, mm hmm, my mom definitely has had that before. So I'm putting that in here. And then I'm adding in some skincare stuff. I've gotten this PR, but stuff that I know that she'll like. This is totally like face wash. And then this is from Peach and Lily. It's a retinol. But I just got something for these to go in. So let me pull all the rest of the stuff that I just bought. All right, let's finish up this basket. So, like I showed you inside the Home Goods, I had to get it. I know it's not her favorite color but the fact that it says mama on it, that's what I call her, mama. I just think this is adorable, so I'm gonna put all of the bathroom care inside this little bag. First stop is to pull the price off of this. Dear TJ Maxx, Ross, Home Goods, um, all of your tags stink. <laughs> I hate them. At least the price is off, so that's good enough, but my mom watches my videos, so she probably already saw the price. It's just the matter of fact. I also stopped in Nordstrom Rack, because it's in that same shopping center, so is an Ulta and a Total Wine. I saw these earrings, and I thought that my mom would love them. They're just gold with little clear slash white stones. And I am just the jewelry queen and now that I don't live at home anymore and my mom can't steal my jewelry all the time, I try and get her a piece whenever I see something that makes me think of her. So I just felt like these would be perfect. Also at Nordstrom Rack, I picked up these cute little Neutrogena single pouch makeup wipes. So I'm gonna leave her a couple in here. I don't know if she'll really use them, but I thought that these would be fun for me for travel and I thought they kind of went with like the Bayes travel bag and they're travel related. So putting some travel stuff in there too. So how I'm gonna prep this bag is with a piece of tissue paper just to make it a little more fun. Like I showed you at Target, I got her shampoo and conditioner. So I'm gonna see if these will fit just in the bottom of this. I got her a little dry shampoo that I'm gonna stick in here. Face wash, retinol. Also from Home Goods, just got a two pack of loofahs. This came out to five bucks. I felt like 250 for a loofah was pretty good. So I picked the pack with pink and blue. Pink for my mom, blue for my dad. I'm gonna stick her loofah in here. You can always use another loofah. Loofah. And then finally, I'm gonna stick some of these little makeup wipes in here. I'm gonna put three little ones because they're here for three nights. And there's my mom's cute little bag. I think I'm gonna put this in the base weekender, so I'm just gonna set it off to the side. My dad's loofah, however, can sit on his side here. And because I got my mom some fun skincare stuff, I got the Tampa Bay Lightning stuff for my dad. So first of all, Tervis Tumblr. He's got a few Tervises, but they are old, so I figured a brand new one wouldn't hurt, of course. Tampa Bay Lightning, he has to represent, and then he can just tell everybody when they see him and 
they go, why isn't that Florida Panthers? He can just talk about how his daughter now lives in Tampa. I had a shaker bottle that I bought in college that was Alabama shaker bottle and he uses that thing every day. So I feel like he'll use this and think of me. And my dad's pretty picky on hats, but I did bring home this one. I don't think he's gonna love it with the Velcro, but it's more of a, a thought that counts kind of a hat. And if he doesn't wear it, I can return it to Target. But like this was cute and so I just I had to get it and I think I'm just gonna balance it right on top of the loofah and my mom's earrings I'm gonna attach to the heavenly hunks little bag and finally the wine glass for my mom that I showed you I'm actually already regretting not getting one of these for myself I'm just absolutely obsessed with this oh no this sticker is not coming off well gosh dang it excuse me for five minutes while I peel this off <laughs> okay I got the sticker off and I washed the glass so I mean how cute is this I am literally obsessed and that's gonna go right in the front. Ta da! And here is the basket for my parents. I'm gonna put this with the Bay's Weekender bag, and they're gonna have some fun gifts while they're here in Tampa. I understand this is a little excessive, but I haven't seen my parents in a couple months, and I love this stuff. Gift baskets are like, oh, I just love to put together a basket of things that I know that the people who are visiting or the people who I'm giving it to are really gonna love. So I don't feel like it's any sort of a waste of money. I hate getting things going, mm, I'm not even sure the person's gonna like this. Like, I am for certain, minus the hat, but I already talked about that, that they're gonna love everything inside of this little basket and just kind of make them feel a little bit more at home while they're here in Tampa. And it's a little incentive to get my parents to visit more knowing that they could be coming in and getting a basket. I also picked these up for home goods, mostly for myself, crunchy roasted edamame ranch flavor. I've never seen these before, but I need to try them. The ranch flavor? These are gonna be addicting. Holy smokes, this might be gone today. So now that everything's here, I'm going to eventually bring this over to Austin so that this can be sitting on the counter when we all walk in together a little bit later. I am going to prep my place for them to come see for the first time in person because my parents are arriving in two hours. So there is a lot to do between now and then. I just moved out of mommy, but at least we have the gift basket and all the gifts and stuff ready to go. And now it's just cleaning time. Minus these boxes, which need to go to my storage unit, my parents will understand, and the slippers I have yet to put away. The apartment is clean, it's ready for my parents to come. I'm just gonna sit and read my book until I have to go get them. But everything's vacuumed, everything's put away. Um, this is as good as it's getting right now. Okay, I've got some Ross bags over here, that's fine. And I guess I have to push in my desk chair, but for the most part, we're ready to rumble for my parents. Like I said, I'm gonna tidy up the couch right before I leave, but this is what it's looking like in here. So dark in here, but I made the bed, I washed everything. So that is how I have prepped for my parents to come. I can't wait to see their reaction to the basket, to my mom's new weekender bag, all of that stuff. But that is how I prep for company to come. Like I said, I'm just very excited to see my parents and I wanna vlog with them throughout this weekend. So that'll be the video that comes out next. I love you guys so much. I hope that you're having a wonderful day. If you're new here, subscribe down below and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.